What's up guys, Mr. Mario here, back again with yet another video. And today we're in Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury on the Nintendo Switch. And we're doing a challenge that's been pretty um, popular lately, but it's kind of died down. But they do really good on my channel, so I'm going to keep doing them, alright? So what this challenge is, is we're going to go as far as we can in Super Mario 3D World without dying. But if we die, the video ends. Pretty fun challenge, and if you want to see more, I recommend going down below and subscribing and liking the video for more. I do Mario related content every single week, sometimes throw in a short film maybe once in a while, but you'll love this channel. But without further ado guys, after all that talk, let's get into the actual gameplay and see how long we can survive in Super Mario 3D World without dying. Let's do this. Alright, so we are here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and I forgot one thing. You might be wondering why I'm in World Star right now. That's because I thought it'd be a good idea to make it even more challenging. Do start in World Star, as you can see, and make it the Hoya to World Crown, where Champions Road is. But I doubt we're gonna even make it to Champions Road, because it's, it's pretty dang hard. But we'll see how far we can make it. Let's start with World Star-1. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. If we die, the video just ends. So I want to take as least damage as possible. And there was not a power-up in there. Okay, fine. <laughs> will there be a power-up in this one? Yes, there will. Catmill, thank you very much. Wasting and skips we pay. Bitty buds. This level is actually pretty cool. Oh, gosh. Okay. Wait a minute. I'll, I'll commentate after I get done with this, because I want to concentrate here. Oh! Okay. I don't know why that was so difficult, but it was. Okay, I lost the cat suit. We might need that in the future, but oh my gosh, hon. Well, the video almost just ended right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into this work cube. But as I was saying, this level is actually really cool. It's one of my favorite levels in the game. This is the level right after you beat Bowser. And it, it is just so colorful. It's pleased the eyes so much. And I just love it. The music, the remix in the background. Oh, you can just hear it. But I should concentrate on Plessy right now. Oh, yeah, it's kind of hard to die since they're pretty far away from the edges of the water. Oh, and we can't even get that green star out there which, with the um, Link star, with the Link color panels. Alright, but I guess we're gonna keep going here. Ugh. This is definitely more challenging. I would. Ugh. 